Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of some bad data or bad rows in your data set, especially when it is somewhere in between. For example, uh, I have some bad data over here in this particular data set. But, and if I go to uh, Power Query over here, uh, I do not really have an option of, of removing the rows which are here in between. For example, uh, if I click on remove rows, I can only remove top rows or bottom rows or alternate rows or duplicate or any blank rows or if there are any errors that I have. But I don't really have an option to remove the rows here, let's say from exa for example, from row number seven to 11, I don't have an option to do that. However, we can simply write some code and get rid of the rows that we do not want over here. So let's get started with this tutorial. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on advanced editor, get into this particular dialog box over here. And then what I'm going to do here is add in a few more lines over here. And then over here, I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here, and then come back to the end of the code here on the previous line and add a comma here so that it is the continuation and then on the change type we will rename this and call this as remove junk rows you can rename this to whatever that you want i'm gonna say is equals to and type in table dot remove rows okay and then i'm gonna open bracket over here there are three conditions that we need to enter over here. First is the name of the table. In this case, the name of the table is not sales that you see over here, but this is the uh, name of the table. Okay, I'm gonna paste this value over here. Whatever previous um, name that you have here, uh, the step name that you have here, that is going to be your table name. Okay, for me, it is change type. Uh, for you it can be something else so I just copied change type and I pasted it here if I didn't have change type it, my promoted headers would have been the table name so I, and then I would copy promoted headers over here so right now for me on, on the previous line it is change type so I'm going to copy this and paste it over here followed by a comma and then it's asking me to enter the offset as a number now offset is basically uh, we need to define saying that from which row number should Power BI consider to start offsetting and then deleting the rows. In this case, uh, so if you look at the data over here, uh, my, uh, I have good data until sixth row. The data issue or the junk data starts from seventh row and goes on till 11th. So in this case over here, I am not going to type in seven, but I'm going to type in six over here. Okay. So from this is where I need to start all this. So until six, I have good data from seventh onwards, the bad data starts. Okay. Okay. You can play around with this number and see how it works with your data set. So I'm going to type in six here, followed by a comma. And then I have one, two, three, four, five rows, which I need to delete from this particular data set. I'm going to type in five over here and then in the last step over here, I'm going to copy this particular uh, name of the step over here and replace it with in, replace it over here. Okay. And then it says no syntax errors have been detected. I'm going to click on done. So now when you do this, you will see that all those five rows have been deleted. So if I go back to this particular step, you will see that I have 20 rows in my data set with five rows here with bad value. Notice that it is starting from 8072 and then ending with uh, one st or, and starting again here with 1342, right? When I go over here, you will see the same values over here. But if I change this over here, uh, if I change this to seven over here, it will keep the first row, which is the bad value and remove the next row, which is of the good value, right? So make sure that you have these numbers correct in when you are entering the data so that only the bad values are removed in your data set, right? So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.